What's up guys, your boy Moho, back with another video for you guys, and uh, this is going to be a things I hate video, and I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, because there is a lot of things that I hate, but subconsciously I don't really realize it until it happens. Uh, for instance, people who don't taste the difference in water really kills me, it's top on my list, I, I'd put it on number one, to be honest with you. It's the number one thing I can't stand, because when I have a a water from my refrigerator and then I go out and buy a bottle of Aquafina or smart water or even Fiji for that matter I taste the difference and you know another thing that I would add on to that is people who can't tell the difference between two milliseconds one milliseconds no milliseconds and you know compared to five milliseconds or eight milliseconds it really just grinds my gears I can't stand it like this video if you are the same because I'm really trying to see who who really feels like that you know because every time I bring it up I feel like I'm lonely I'm the only one um, I hate making decisions on my own without having someone to, to talk it over. Even though sometimes if you talk to somebody about your problems uh, and they might not necessarily agree with your decision, it still feels better than just making the decision on your own. You know, whether you listen to them or not. Um, paying for, I just got a haircut. I, I, I like the haircut, but the haircut I had previously, I did not like it and I had to pay for it. I hate paying for haircuts that you don't like, but I'm not, I'm too pussy to go and tell the barber, listen, I don't like this shit. And I ain't paying for it, you know, because, you know, it was my fault for going to the barber in the first place because it wasn't my barber, it was a different person, so. Anyway, um, to be honest with you, I don't like watching TV anymore. I feel like it's all commercials, and if it is something on TV, it's something really stupid. Uh, and, and, and really not, not important to me uh, at all. Um, discussing politics with people. Honestly, it's the worst because people are so hard-headed and stubborn and one-sided and, and biased towards their opinions that they'll make up some bullshit just to make you believe um, or just make you think that they're right so I really hate discussing politics uh, you know what I hate I love going um I love going on late night runs to like Walmart or something I always feel like it's the zombie apocalypse where I live because I'm talking about like three o'clock in the morning because when you go out there's nobody there on the streets or in the stores and if there are people there that's really old people in the stores and they're just browsing like the clothing section and it's really kind of weird um, but I hate when you're going to these uh, destinations at this late of night and you get a red light and it's sit you're sitting there awkward it's really awkward sitting at a red light at three in the morning and you're asking yourself why is this light red in the first place it really just it's really just uh, unreal um, Stiff necks. Oh my god, I cannot stand stiff neck. A stiff neck, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, is if you sleep wrong or your pillow is not lined up with your neck correctly, you wake up and your neck is all stiff and it's all hard. And it really just alters, like, it alters your day from being a good day to just a completely terrible day. So I'd have to put that on my list as well. Um, car salesman. Hello. What kind of car are you looking for? Oh my god. Have you guys ever pulled up into a car? Um, a, 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 like a Honda dealer or like a just any type of dealership and you know you just got those guys with these these suits on just standing there smiling bullshit and and they just walk up to you and they really don't give a shit about what you need or what you're what you're looking for they just want to make the sale to me they they seem like vultures uh, so car salesman is, is definitely definitely up there um, waiters and or waitresses who walk up to your table and ask if you're done when there's nothing left on your plate excuse me sir are you done Honestly, what are they thinking? I always troll them. I always say, no, 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 no. I need a box. That's what I tell them. And I have like one fry or something left. And they would be like, oh, uh, okay. And then they'd walk away. And then I'd be like, no, I'm just kidding. Like, it's really unbelievable that they would ask that. Um, people who force things on you. Um, it, it could be anything, you know, whether it's their opinion or whether they want to go somewhere, if it's a friend who wants to go somewhere, um, you know, just people who force things on you. Like, uh, I had a neighbor that was asking me about uh, our kayaks, and they just wouldn't shut up about it. They asked if we could borrow them, and I told them no, and they just kept going and going and going, like, Howdy, neighbor, can I borrow your kayaks? Just take, just take no for an answer, you know? Um, attention seekers. It's unbelievable, and this goes along with people who are watching girls on Twitch stream, and, and, and you look at the chat, and they're looking for attention, like, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, I like the shirt you're wearing, and they're just like, just straight up attention seekers. It's ridiculous. Or people who post selfies all day, nonstop. Uh, we get it. If you ever went to somebody's Instagram, and it's 15,000 pictures of, of the same fucking thing, it's ridiculous, it's repetitive, it needs to stop. 
And, uh, you know, people who aren't open-minded about things, like uh, conspiracy theories and stuff. I can't really be friends with somebody like that because those are great discussions. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I like making these videos. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. We'll catch you guys later.